For this exercise, browse to your Chapter 7 folder and open the file Chapter 7, Zones, Areas, Calculations. In a previous exercise, we looked at how we could split spaces in order that we can run separate calculations on areas that may have specific heat gain issues from areas such as large glazing. We did this before in the Level 1 HVAC plan. Scrolling into this view, we can see the additional spaces that were created. We can select these spaces by selecting one, then pressing and holding the control key while we find the others. From the Analyze tab, click on Zone. When we come to do analysis, this zone can be treated as one object. We can also edit the zone if we want to add or remove spaces. In addition to perimeter zones, we may also want to consider plenum spaces. We would of course have to define the plenum spaces before we can define the zone. Scroll down in your project browser to the HVAC modeling folder. Expand, and here we can see we've got a level one modeling plan and a level one plenum plan. These plenum spaces can be treated as an individual object so it would be great to be able to select all the plenum spaces in this view. I happen to know, however, that some of the spaces don't have ceilings, so how can we manage this in a simple way? From your View tab, click on Section and draw a section that encompasses the entire building. Open the view and drag the grip so we can see the entire building in section. Make sure that we're looking at this view in wireframe mode. Create a crossing window that selects Level 1 Plenum. We've obviously got too many objects selected here, so use the filter to check None and only select Spaces. We still have some spaces selected. Those are the ones that go from Level 1 up to Level 2 without being bounded by a ceiling. So now press and hold your Shift key and repeat the crossing window and deselect the spaces on level 1. We now only have level 1 plenum spaces selected. Go to your Analyze tab and create a zone. We'll repeat this for levels 2 and 3. Select the level 2 plenum, filter, check none, click on spaces, click on OK, hold the shift key down, Deselect the lower spaces, go to the Analyze tab and click on Zone. Repeat this one last time for the Level 3 plenum. Select, Filter for Spaces, Shift to deselect the Level 3 spaces. Go to the Analyze tab. Click on Zone. Remember from the Properties palette, we can then define the name of the zone. In this case, it's Level 3 Plenum. Click on Apply.